Scores of citizens turned up at the Red House on Friday to bid farewell to former Prime Minister Basdeo Pandey. Mr. Pandey's body will lay in honor at the rotunda of the Parliament building until 5.30 p.m. on Friday. Many people shared with us why they decided to pay their respects. I decided to come because it was only right that, you know, as a dignity, as a dignitary and a former Prime Minister, you pay respects and, you know, your honor. It is sad that we have lost a great soul of this world and a pillar. Mr. Basti Pandey was a great politician. It's okay, it's okay. I also met him in the UNC complex as a UNC candidate. He has left an indelible mark. As Prime Minister, he did a lot for the country. He gave the Baptist the Baptist holiday, he gave the Indian Arrival Day, he brought the legislation, Freedom of Information Act. My parents reminded me today how they signed the books of others, and my father took me to sign uh, Mr. Patrick Manning's book. So it felt like tradition to come and do it on behalf of them as they can't make it out today. No, he was a good one. He helped the nation. He helped everybody. All crazy. You know, what is the reason and raise? Right. He was a good man. As a person growing up in the late 90s and an era where I came from, I didn't really have, well, I mean, the era didn't really have much street council like street lighting, water, roads, and this sort of thing. And when the late Baz Yopani came into power, all these things was a reality. And I like to thank him and, you know, just to give him, you know, a great send off for everything he did for us in our area. Once Mr. Pandey come on TV, you're sure to get a laugh. He would brighten up your day, you would put a smile on your face. And he contributed a lot to the economy, to the country, even domestically, regionally, internationally, that a lot of younger generation don't know of. I just remember him being a charismatic figure, somebody who changed politics to begin with. And just a person that you could, uh, even even if you disagree with him, he was someone that you still respected. Um, you know, in today's society, we have, you know, we don't have a lot of role models. And to me, he was a role model, somebody to look up to. You know, he was a fearless fighter. He, um, he stood up for his country, you know, and those are things that I admire about him. Some of those who spoke to us also shared how they believe the fifth prime minister should be honored. Name Piaco after ye. I mean, Basio Pande Airport. I was thinking about it. His name is Mr. Basio Pande. They should name all the, the Pan facility, fraternity after his name. Pande Billet, and recently, just before he died, they say it was one of the best airports in the Caribbean. I think the airport, it was his baby, and I believe, and well, the, the Hindu, the Mahasabha don't take in front and the name Shiva Boys College, Basde Pandey Shiva Boys College. And I think what he has done, past and present, they do it yet. Um, well, I heard they're naming a school after him, which I think is an excellent idea, as well as I think that they should have a library. You know, like how they have the library of Sir Ellis, not Sir Ellis Clark. Um, Eric Williams, they should have a library with both Patrick Manning and Basil Pandey side by side. On Monday, January 8th, Mr. Pandey's body will lie in state at the Southern Academy for Performing Arts, SAPA, from 9 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. The state funeral for the former Prime Minister on Tuesday, January 9th, will be held at SAPA from 9 a.m. under Hindu rites. His body will be cremated at the Shore of Peace, South Oropooch.